Hello, my name is Doug Ayers, and today I'm going to demo my custom lightning component for embedding a flow on a lightning record page and keeping the data synced between the flow and the form. First, we need to set up our flow. In this example, I have a simple flow with a single screen element. It also has a single text input variable. I've named it account ID. And this is what will receive the record ID when embedded on the Lightning record page. My flow checks to see that the ID has been populated and then queries for the account. On the screen, I simply show the account name and the account number. The user may edit these values and when they click next, I assign those values back to the account record and then perform an update. Once the flow has been activated, then we can make this available to our Lightning component. We do this through a Visual Force page. Now don't worry, there's no Apex or unit test needed. In fact, you only need to change two lines. At line 13, you can replace the name with the name of your flow. And then on line 14, you change the parameter name to the name of your input text variable to receive the record ID. While we're here, I'll explain what the rest of the page is doing. But those two changes are all that you need to make this work. When the user clicks next or finish on their flow, this will redirect back to this same page, passing in the same record ID, but now specifying a finish parameter equal to true. The script at the bottom of the page waits for this parameter to be set to true and then posts a message back to the parent lightning component to let it know that we would like the other components on the record page to be refreshed to pick up the new data changes. With our flow and our visual force page, we can now go to edit our lightning record page. Here I'm going to edit the account page. Click the gear in the top right and choose Edit Page. Salesforce comes with two standard components named Flow and Visual Force. We can't use these for our purposes because they don't listen for data changes occurring on the page. It's great that they're provided, but they're not as flexible as I'd like. So I created this custom Visual Force component so I'll make sure to drag the Visual Force component from the custom list onto my page. We're then prompted to specify the name of our Visual Force page. Demo account flow page. And I'm going to increase the height to 225 pixels. I'll save the page. Navigate back to our account. And here we see our flow embedded on our page. Note that the account header, the name and number, as well as the name and number on the flow, and the name and number in our form all match. If we make a change to this name in the form, for example, remove the LLC and perhaps change the number by adding 456, if we save, this will be reflected throughout the rest of the page. Notice our flow. It's picked up those changes and the header component picked up those changes. Likewise, we can change the account name and number within the flow, perhaps add back the LLC and add the letters ABC to our account number. We'll click next. The flow will save the date, the data to the account, and then the data gets synced back to the other components by refreshing them. Notice the LLC and the ABC. Let's revert this back. We'll remove the LLC and set the account number back to 123. Click Next. And note that the data gets synced again. And we can keep doing this all day long. <laughs> Change it on the record detail. It's reflected in the flow. And there you go. A way to have the flow on your re Lightning record pages stay in sync bidirectionally with the form data on the page. Thanks for watching.